Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls and this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week beginning June 15th, I had to check my notes, June 15th, 2015. And for this week I'm going to be using the Healing with the Fairies Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and then of course pulling a color card from the Inesagal deck. The Secret Language of Color Cards. Okay, and if you would like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Go to the services page and you can get in line for a reading. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, I will leave that info below. And one more thing before we get started here. I am going to go ahead and record next week's reading ahead of time. So I will be wearing the same ensemble. So if you don't like what you see right now, you're going to get a double dose of it next week. Some of you don't like my big curly hair. <laughs> But that's fine, because I like it, okay? Natural is beautiful. Wild is beautiful, and that's definitely my hair it is wild. It, I, I swear it has a mind of its own. It really does. But anyway, let's get on to the reading for June 15th. First card up, Miracle Healing. We had that card last time we used this deck. <gasps> yes, it's still going. I like that. Environmental Awareness, okay. New opportunity, you guys. Oh, that was about to freak me out. Okay, but two of these cards we got, like, what, a few weeks ago? I don't remember when. And I'm, I'm going to hold all the... I'm freaking out for no reason. <laughs> but look at the color schemes. This one kind of doesn't fit in anywhere. But look at these. That is cool. It's like a... So higher wisdom. There's that wisdom theme again. Uh, the purpley theme that keeps coming up. This is total, like, in my mind, crown chakra. So get in there, guys. Open it up. Cool. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to get more info on this. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> we are torturing ourselves by getting so, we, I have talk about this all the time, and I'm sorry to keep repeating myself, but we torture ourselves by getting so wound up with the mundane, it does not matter. If we take some silent time this week and really open up that crown chakra, we'll find that everything we need just sort of filters in, and we get the clarity we need, we figure out how to move forward, we figure out how to, um, you know, just to how to handle something, whatever is on your plate miracle healing it's a continuation they're even giving me this now from a few weeks ago you're still in that process <laughs> they're saying not every cycle completes out week to week okay well, we get it you know so same message just continue on keep moving forward keep moving towards this future this new world that you're creating she's pointing at the world there Okay, and coming into this new existence. Now from there, you're gonna have to get a little acclimated to your new surroundings. So environmental awareness, yes, this card can also mean, you know, taking care of the environment. Yes, uh, but I think with, with this Miracle Healing card is when you come into this new way of being, you, you have to get used to your, your new home, this new mindset, this new energy. And yes, they are showing me like the fine tuning of the energy. To, to whatever is coming ahead for each of you, okay? So, yeah, I have a few of you out there who are like, does this mean a new job? I'm really, you're missing the point. You're missing the point, okay? You're missing the miracle because you're, you're making things harder on yourself because you're closing that off and you have this root chakra that's just quivering, <laughs> okay? Um... <laughs> <laughs> because you're in, in fear all the time, right? And so you're just really weighing yourself down. More balance. Come on up into the upper chakras and cleanse and clear those as well and start tapping in because that's where you're going to get, yeah, you're going to get information. They're actually addressing whoever was out there thinking, like, am I going to get that job or not? No. Oh, boy. Now there's going to be a bunch of people like, oh, I'm not going to get the job. No, there's just like a, like, there's just a handful of people out there because you went after the wrong thing. When you tap into that higher wisdom, you open that crown chakra, you get a little, you invite the angels in, you get a little bit of a download coming in. You'll have your, oh, okay, kind of moment that, that you go, yeah, I don't want to do that for a living. Why do I keep going after that? You know, and, and you're going to know which path to go on. Okay, I'm telling you, tap into the wisdom, open those, you know, the guidance system and listen. 
Wasn't that from last week? No, two weeks ago, the ear chakras. Make sure you're listening to what they're telling you, okay? Don't make it so hard on yourselves. Okay, now, if you do this, what we're coming into is this new opportunity. This is an opportunity for a whole new way of life. So it's not just something like a new job or a new love opportunity. Something bigger. It's an opportunity at a new way of being. You guys incarnated at this time to be a part of the old way and the new way. And you might start finding that the new way is coming a little faster than you thought. And it's not going to look the way you thought. They're saying that too. Didn't we have, okay, this is also interesting. Didn't we have a few weeks ago, like this card came up first and then there was this card? This was second and now they're reversed. What do you get? Can you guys? They're just smiling and like not, <laughs> they're not explaining any further. I don't know. Let me know if it pings anything within you and for your personal situation. Leave it down below. Uh, share with the community here if you care to. I mean, if you want to open up in that way, certainly you are welcome to. So we have as the final card before we move on to the color cards, Magic of Nature. I think we had the Fairies card. Wasn't there a Fairies card somewhere? Not here, a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, so Gaia is still calling you and saying now, okay, thank you guys. It's really imperative you not get stressed right now. It's really imperative you not put all your energy into just your lower chakras. Like how am I gonna survive? Who do I, you know, who's gonna be my boyfriend? <laughs> you know, and we say this all the time, right? There is, you know, a, a whole new way of being waiting for you guys. So just make sure you're getting detoxified and getting ready for it. Okay, what else you guys got here? Yep, okay, and they're showing me the balance. So yes, it's good to be grounded. You always wanna be grounded, but you don't wanna be like burying yourself, which is what some of you are doing with your stress and trying to force an outcome because you're just coming from a place of immense fear. Conversely, you don't want to be floating off into the ethers <laughs> and um, forgetting, you know, like, oh, I don't need to pay taxes. In my world, I don't need to pay taxes. You know, like, okay, somewhere in between. Be somewhere in between. Okay. But it's interesting that this is like coming back around again and kind of hitting us again for this week. Do a lot of journaling. Do a lot of journaling and really make note and see kind of what's happening. If there has been a big reversal in your world, what this is making me feel like, it's almost like, I'm just going to use this as an example. Someone comes into your world and they're madly in love with you and you go, uh, mm, no, thank you. And then a little while later, you're like, I love them too. Oh my gosh, and then you turn around and they aren't available anymore or they're so hurt they're not talking to you so you think it's over and then you go walk and then here comes the reversal. They find out and they come back to you, okay? So they, there's like this flip-floppy kind of thing going on and it, it's a miracle and it's opportunity. So again, share with us if you care to sort of how that's working out in your world. Uh, if you say, well, I don't have like a flip-floppy kind of situation going on here, Michelle. The message then is pretty straightforward for you. Miracle healing, environmental awareness, get used to your surroundings. A new opportunity is coming and make sure you're, you are detoxifying yourself and getting out into nature and connecting with Gaia, connecting with that feminine energy to stay balanced. Okay. Can you guys even hear that? I don't know. I'm always apologizing for the noise because it's so loud to me, but I don't know if you can hear it. So if you can't hear it, never mind. Never mind. All right. So the color card for June 15th. Oh, oh, okay. What? <laughs> I got like a strong scent of orange, but I, I don't think it's going to be orange. And then I almost dropped the cards. It's chocolate. Oh, it's better, you guys. Yes. Okay. Chocolate. Nourish your body and soul. The number is 13. Oh, that's just a good time. Just sit with it. Richness. Luxury. There are other ways to nourish your body and soul than, you know, just what's supposed to be good for you. And boy, don't I know that. 
I've been on this like clean eating thing. That's probably why I'm getting like entirely too excited about the side of chocolate. I'm like freaking out like <laughs> um yes yeah, so you can nourish your body and your soul by just engaging in things this week that really bring you joy if it's you know going for a hike or you know i don't know going to see a movie or something make time for this this doesn't need to be a heavy week y'all hear that tell me you don't hear that you don't hear the little kids screaming out there and this one was just being so courteous like what was the last week of the week before trying to get the kids away i'm gonna stop talking about it because y'all probably are sick of hearing it anyway nourish yourselves <laughs> have a little chocolate in your life have a little wine if that's what you love not too much of course Take it easy and have a great week. I love you guys.